All right. Let's talk about a new film that is playing on uh, Amazon Prime, which prompted me to now uh, upgrade. So for an extra $3 a month, I didn't have to watch commercials. Oddly enough, when I watched Ricky Stenicki, there were no commercials. So there you go. What is Ricky Stenicki? It is directed by Peter Fairley. And Ricky Stenicki is the story of three friends. We meet them as young kids. It's Wes, Dean, and his buddy. Why can't I find it here? Another buddy. So three, look, JT. JT, Wes, and Dean are these three kids. And we meet them on Halloween night. And they accidentally nearly burn down a house. In the act of doing that, they cleverly think, oh, here's what we'll do. One of the guys takes his jacket and writes the name Ricky Stenicki in the jacket and leaves the slightly burned jacket at the scene of the crime and realize, oh, my God, anything bad that happens, we can just blame it on Ricky Stenicki. They We meet them later as adults, played by Zac Efron, played by Zac Efron, Andrew Santino and Jermaine Fowler. They're now much older uh, adults married and they have this imagine they have this friend that whenever they just want to go on some road trip without their wives, it's like, well, we got to meet Ricky Stenicki. Ricky's oh, Ricky's going through cancer. Ricky's doing this. Ricky just got, uh, you know, out of rehab. They've got, Ricky Stenicki is their excuse to basically just get out of doing anything or a way to actually go do fun things without their wives. Okay. This thing continues to the point where they've created this Bible and the Bible is all the things that like Ricky, he travels, what he does. He's very philanthropic and he's, he's all about, you know, justice and helping people, you know, traveling to like Africa to help people doing all this like crazy stuff, but they've, kept it in this log, this big log about like all the things that, that Ricky's done. Okay. So that they can keep their lies straight. Finally, it comes to a point where they just can't, they can't get out of it. At some point, the family, their wives are going to meet Ricky Stenicki. They end up meeting John Cena's character. Who's doing, I don't even know how to describe this. He's working like outside of Vegas as a guy who does like pornographic covers of songs like Billy Idol. And they're all like, his name is Rod Rimstead. And John Cena plays this character. We meet him at this easy bar where he's doing covers of songs, but they're like pornographic covers of songs. And it's very, very gay unintentionally probably intentionally so he's a professional actor and takes himself very seriously he is not sober he's a guy who drinks every day does drugs is you know his life is a mess so zach efron uh you know and uh you know dean and wes and jt decide hey we'll just hire this actor to show up at this party and we'll sort of like you know, fine. Ricky Stenicki exists. The movie's kind of dead until like John Cena comes in. He's actually, John Cena is pretty funny as this character because he takes this role so seriously. He like memorizes this Bible and he actually gets clean and sober because the character of Ricky Stenicki is also clean and sober. So he was so is going to method that he's going to actually become this Ricky Stenicki guy that is a completely made up person. And then he ends up really impressing um, uh, their boss at, at their work, played by, played by William H. Macy. They work at this financial investment firm. And he's so impressed with Ricky Stenicki, he ends up hiring him. And he's a complete moron that doesn't understand anything about finance, but he's able to BS his way through anything. So the stakes raise. This is a classic dumb comedy that that's has humor that could be considered offensive that they would have made uh, years ago 
and no one would have batted an eye as it is it's it's direct to amazon prime um and i gotta say i i can't lie and say i didn't laugh at a bunch of parts one of the things that ricky stanicki notices about liam h macy as the boss at this firm is he's always when he gives speeches he's he's always sort of playing with an invisible dick so he'll be like we've got to do this we have really got to stretch ourselves and when i say so he's got like and he's he doesn't notice that he's doing it then it becomes like a trend on tiktok of him with like invisible dicks but he tells him this he goes hey you know you got to be conscious of the fact that you're it looks like you're playing with invisible dicks so i can't lie and say i i i didn't laugh during it it's just it's a little too long the movie's like an hour 45 hour 50 minutes it should have been 90 minutes 90 minutes is a comedy ask john waters um but it's it's just fine it's not the greatest comedy in the world i'd give it a six out of ten so because i already have prime video and i just watched it uh i was entertained <laughs> but, but so, not- so ditch ditch your kids at kung fu panda while you go see ricky stanicki well ricky stanicki on prime video it's oh. fine the thing that makes it is john cena he really like he really goes for it and then it, there's a whole thing of like he's playing the part and kind of becomes the part and of course uh you you can predict how a lot mm-hmm. of this is good i mean the movie is very predictable but the thing that stands out to me is john cena as this character is pretty funny it's if you've seen the trailer that's the movie it's dumb yeah. it's dumb but also if you like like fairly brothers type of comedy this isn't the this is not the fairly brothers it's peter fairly but it's fairly a fairly brothers movie it's fair whatever yeah yeah no well, it's, it's like it's like drive away dolls you, you get one of the brothers and so the movie kind of reflects that you only got one in it exactly exactly but you know i would give it a mild recommendation at least the, the stuff with john cena as soon as because the movie's kind of boring when does he show up like halfway through he or shows up he show about really 20 on? minutes in okay. about 20 minutes in but that first 20 minutes you see them as kids i get it and you see them as adults and then they go you see how they use the name ricky stanicki as a lie and where that's you know that's eventually going to lead to you know we kind of know where it's going um but uh it was look it was mildly entertaining enough for me to like give it a a, a, a like like you gave kung fu panda 4 a 6 given this a 6 because it's not completely dismissible there's a lot of fun stuff that's in it it should just be 90 minutes. Folks, comedies are 90 minutes. Please make them 90 minutes. How does it compare to like there's something about Mary? Uh, oh, not even close. Not even close. Not even close. Right. But there are good scenes like the reveal with William H. Macy and the invisible dicks. That's kind of funny. John Cena, the montage of him singing these pornographic covers of songs. That's funny. The whole thing that like they're going to get found out is is funny. So I don't know. It's it's. You know, I mean, Zach Efron plays the straight guy in it in terms of like now I now I feel like if you use the term the straight guy, people mean <laughs> the straight guy speaking, he's straight. <laughs> um he's just he's just playing off of John Cena. So um it's it's fun and it's 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 worth it if you've already got prime video and and there you are. I yeah. you know it's I, it's I, worth I, the free shipping. It's worth the free shipping. No, but it's it's just that like the it took forever. That twenty minutes is a slog, and then the movie starts when John Cena comes mm. on screen. So literally, right? All right. Yeah. Well, I mean, twenty minutes isn't that bad. I'll give it a shot. 